On the run for six years, one of Arizona's most wanted fugitives is back behind bars and now breaking his silence. It's an ABC 15 exclusive and ABC 15's Navita Fergani joins us live from the 4th Avenue Jail and Navita Adrian Cruz tried to skip out on a 35 year prison sentence. Now it's just going to be a whole lot worse. And Steve, Adrian Cruz's very candid conversation with me is one of the very few he's actually been able to have since being booked. He's currently being housed in the special management unit right here at the 4th Avenue Jail. This is where the most at-risk and dangerous inmates stay. I am not the evil person that everyone is talking about. Adrian Cruz back in the gray and white stripes after being off the radar for the last six years. All I wanted was a second opportunity at life. Cruz took a plea deal after allegations surfaced in 2004 that he raped a nine-year-old girl inside his ice cream truck. I insisted that we go to trial. But he claims his attorney forced him to take the plea deal. Then five years after that deal, Cruz decided he did enough time. I took the chance that God gave me to get out in a clean way. This is video from when Cruz casually walked out of the courthouse, disappearing to Mexico, starting a brand new life, falling in love and becoming a father of two. He told me he did not want to waste any more time behind bars for a crime he did not commit. Nunca hice nada contra ella. I never did anything to her. Then why did you write this letter to the judge? Do you remember this? In that handwritten letter, Cruz expresses his remorse for what he did to that nine-year-old victim. But looking at it now, he has a different story. My lawyer told me to say it so the judge might give me less time. For the last six years, Cruz has lived in fear that police would eventually find him. He's now come back to fight that conviction and is pleading to his victim. Tell the truth. I never hurt the girl. Just tell the truth. Cruz also tells me that his wife knew about the allegations against him and knew why he fled to Mexico. He tells me that when police showed up, she was the one that encouraged him to come back and face the consequences. His next court date is December 2nd, which is on Wednesday. Yeah, a couple of different stories he's told. We'll see which one the judge believes. Thanks so much, Navita.